Hi guys, and welcome to this short tutorial to help you out work better in After Effects. What do you want to do here? We have uh, three movies, clips, that I trimmed and made exactly what I want to see. We can scrub through. You notice how the movies are jumping in. There is no smooth transition between the first and the second one. What I would like to do is to make a fade in, to create a fade in here for the duration of the overlap. Of course, you can come and start playing with your opacity, putting the first keyframe and the second keyframe and stories like this. That will be nice. But what is nicer is to be able to use a preset that will do the job for you and really you don't have to worry about it, whatever the time of the overlap you put or whatever you move your layer. Let's go to effects and preset. We go to animation presets and in behavior here, you have fade in of a layer below. Uh, it means that this layer that I've selected will fade in over the layer that is below it. I will take that preset and drop it on the layer. Now you notice that the layer above is fading on the layer below and it will appear. Quite nice. And I will do that for the first layer. It will fade over the second layer. Notice what's happening. So pretty cool, pretty simple. Now what's really nice if you take the second layer and remove it, the overlap, the fading will be consistent with the overlap distance. So if you increase the overlap distance, the fade in time will also increase with the overlap distance. So this is pretty cool because you don't have to worry now where are your keyframes, you don't have to move them, it's done. The same happens here. You can overlap them anytime you want. Here you are. Let's run a RAM preview and see exactly what's happening. So these are methods and techniques that you can use to simplify your work when you are doing After Effects. Now, if you're doing very sophisticated work, maybe you don't want to use that preset. But if you're just editing your video or your home video even, you can really use this method and it's quite cool. Now you see, I aligned the layers that the bottom one will start and I used fade in over layer below. But if you align them in a different way, for example, you like to align this one to come in the first and the second one stays in the middle. So what you do here, let's delete the effects that we have put first and we press delete, they're gone, finish. Now you want to overlap the top layer on bottom of the layer. There is another one here, which is a fade out over layer below, which works e exactly the same, but still, you know, depending on how you want to organize your layers, if you want to start with the top layer or you want to start with the bottom layer. Let's see the effect now. It's actually identical, but you are fading out the layer above. Now, this is pretty cool. Let's see what can we can do if you have images. I will drop my images first choose them, the three of them. And I need to trim the images. What I can do, let's say for two seconds, I will hold alternate and close right bracket. And I have trimmed the images. Now I want them to uh, overlap, for example, that way. Here you are. If you run now, you notice that the second one will just come in. Let's choose all of them, right click and say transform and uh, fit to comp with, so we can see them all. Fine, now I can use fade out over layer below. That will be okay for the first two. And it will happen exactly like we did in movies. So you can use it with movies or you can use it with images, still images. There is another small one I would like to show you because it's in between here. Fade in plus out for frames, a fade in and out in milliseconds. But I will uh, write some text for example, walls are us. <laughs> that will be fun. And let's put it in the middle, for example. We, don't, we want walls are us to appear just here, fr starting from here, and to disappear here. Okay, so I press alternate and right bracket or bracket to close. So I want the walls are us to appear from here and disappear from here. I can start keyframing. There is co four keyframes that I will use here. Better yet, what I can do is to use fade in and out in milliseconds. You can use it for frames. I will use it for milliseconds. I will drop it over the layer. Now, notice here it says 
fade in duration 500 milliseconds that's half a second and fade out duration is also half a second and you notice that it appears it fades in and it fades out so you notice it saved me a lot of work and there are no keyframes and i don't worry about where i put this layer it will always fade in and out i can even make it longer if i want to stay in it will keep the fade in and out at 500 milliseconds if i want more for example one second i can just type 1000 that is 1000 milliseconds that's one second and here you are so i hope you like this short tutorial and uh, i know it will help you in your animations so try to use it try to play around with it try to see what you can do with it thank you very much for listening and remember to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next tutorial